First of all, Rassi Beast, Virgil, I glow, don't spill no drink on my clothes when I'm Louis V dripping. Don't like stress at my dome, straight to the head when I'm lighting party tools dripping. Hey you guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is Saturday. I decided I'm gonna start doing a monthly vlog, so this is gonna be like the month of September vlog. Even though it's August 31st, but September is about to start anyways. So, um, I decided I'm just gonna pull the camera out today. I am gonna start off by meal prepping. Usually I would meal prep on Sundays. Today is Saturday, and I know I'm gonna be busy tomorrow, so I'm like, let me just go ahead and get it done today, because the past two weeks, I haven't really been on top of my meal prepping, and it's like, I feel like everything is just thrown off when my meal prep isn't done, because, you know, it means I have to cook more often. I freaking hate cooking, so it's like, I just rather get everything done during the weekend. Um, and it just throws me off because I feel like I'm not getting in my protein intake like it's just too much I am also going out later tonight. It's like the last weekend of summer So I'm trying to have fun and like enjoy the weekend because after this it's time to get back to normal Okay, I feel like I've been giving myself a lot of excuses being like, you know, it's summer. It's okay Like I've just been letting a lot of things slide because it's summer and I know that this isn't gonna last forever but um yeah it's time to lock in again like anyways for my meal prep for breakfast i'm doing egg bites if i do meal prep my breakfast i only ever do egg bites they're so easy they taste good just quick to make taste good just simple and then for my lunch i decided i'm gonna do just salmon and rice and broccoli and then all of my meals are like so simple for one it makes it easy to like track it you know track the calories and protein and stuff and i'm definitely not a chef like i'm i just like making simple things that i can eat um and then for dinner i decided because i've been craving pasta so bad specifically like rose sauce is like the vibe that i've been going for but um i wanted to see if i can find something dairy free so i did find a dairy free rose sauce recipe online i really really hope it tastes good because if it doesn't taste good i'm just not going to eat it and i'm going to have to redo the meal prep but yeah it's a dairy free rose sauce I'm doing that with chickpea um, pasta. Let me show you guys. I'm also gluten intolerant. You guys know this. So I don't like eat regular pasta. I've been doing this type of pasta, chickpea pasta. It doesn't taste the best. I'm going to be honest. It definitely has like a chickpea taste to it. But if you put like enough sauce on it, it does mask the taste and it, you don't really taste it. So um, yeah, and it's high in protein. So... I like it. It's good. I don't know if this is going to be enough though. So I, I did Instacart some groceries. I have some groceries here, but I Instacarted the rest, which is going to be here in like an hour. But I'm just going to get started now. So yeah, my dairy-free rosé sauce and then chicken pea pasta and then chicken is going to be like my dinner for the oncoming week. Also, I used to be the type of person that was like, oh my god, I don't know. I, I could never eat like the same thing every single day, whatever. But honestly, I just, the fact that everything is so easy and all I have to do is put my meals in the microwave, like, and I'm like hitting my protein intake and I'm just like staying on top of everything. I don't know i just like love that anyways okay so let's go ahead and get started it's currently like 11 a.m i want to get this done quickly i hope it doesn't take me too long because i do have to start getting ready at some point during the afternoon slash evening because we're going to Zen tonight so yeah i'm gonna start off on dinner because that's the only thing that i have like all of my ingredients ready for and that's probably gonna be like take the most time because i've never done it before done done i mean it's not all done but for the most part it's done it's literally about to be 5 p.m this took me quite a while but um this is what i have for my lunch like i said salmon rice and broccoli and then you guys know i have like the pasta for my dinners and i didn't make the chicken yet because the chicken still hasn't thawed so yeah i just i'm gonna do that tomorrow i put the chicken in the fridge and we'll just do that tomorrow it's gonna be so easy though because all i need to do is put it in the air fryer and um also 
I made the egg bites, but I forgot it in the oven and so they burnt. So I need to redo the egg bites as well. And I went to the grocery store to get the salmon, but I forgot to get extra egg whites, like, because the egg bites is like um, five eggs and then extra egg whites on top of that. So now I don't have enough egg whites, so I just have to go and pick that up again but I'm not gonna do that today but the egg whites take like no time to make like it's so easy and then I put them in these um this silicone muffin tray situation silicone is so much better they literally pop out they don't stick at all it's like amazing but I'm gonna make that tomorrow um because I'm not going back to the grocery store today my week my oncoming week already feels organized like I'm already excited because okay my meal prep is already done and whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready I told you guys that I'm doing dinner tonight anyways oh and I got flowers I need to put that in a vase right now actually because they've been sitting here for a couple hours <laughs> Wait, let me see the dress. Yeah, it's actually cute, but does it fit you though? It does. I didn't zip it off. Oh my god. Yeah, I think that's cute actually. Like seriously, you guys are not serious. Who's not serious? We're fucking helping me. Gold. If I wear this, like, with that bun. Yeah. Tuesday and today feels like a Monday though because the long weekend just finished and I feel like today is technically my Monday but it's not it's a Tuesday we really need to get back into the routine but like I told you guys on Saturday so I'm going to go work out I have my little protein smoothie that I made and you guys some I don't know what's going on like I don't know I feel like weird things are happening to me I have like zero appetite like even yesterday I didn't eat my like dinner meal prep, which is just so weird. It's just because like I literally don't have the appetite for food. But anyways, anyway, today's Tuesday, so we're going to the run club. You guys, we haven't been to the run club in like weeks. Okay, like. <laughs> 
Julie and I have not been serious. Like, one week she's not able to, the other week I'm not able to. I don't know how long it's been, like maybe three or four weeks that we haven't been to the run club. It just, it hasn't, like every Tuesday there's something going on for me or her. It just hasn't aligned. But t this Tuesday we're going, okay? We are running. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick, like, um arm workout today oh and i have really exciting news you guys on friday i'm going to new york with olaplex it's really exciting this is technically my first brand trip i mean it's literally a one day thing like it's in and out but i'm like really excited and i need to like plan that trip as well which is happening on friday like i need outfits you know because i don't really know what i'm gonna wear and stuff so i just need to like plan my life out because that's coming up um so that's what today is gonna be it's just like getting things in order i also need to book another trip that i've been putting off for like so freaking long So I'm like, let me just go ahead and do it today before I go on my run. Um, and also because I'm going to be filming my like shower routine video tomorrow, you know, and my nails are going to be all up in the camera, my hands. So I'm like, let me just go and get that done today. Um, it shouldn't be quick. It's really just like a refill. I'm back from the nail salon. We're going to run with the run club today. Um, I'm actually kind of nervous. Like I'm so tired, but I'm just doing an all black vibe. And then I have this. That I got from Amazon. Hey, let's toast them. Run club. This girl has a full gear. Do not play with her. She's not one of them. Is there water in here? Yeah. This way. Oh, that's so much better. We haven't been here in like four weeks. I don't know how long it's been for me though. Use this too. Oh, it feels longer than that. Rain is for it. Yeah, we're getting ready to run. You know. It's exciting. I feel like I'm gonna die though. I'm very nervous. I haven't been doing a lot of cardio lately either, so I'm like. This anyway. is before the run. Cute now. <laughs> Baby hair is still in place and all of that. Everything is okay. We'll see how we look <laughs> after. <laughs>
morning guys i'm going to you guys already know where um i have my egg bites that i put in the air fryer i also oh yeah i didn't show you guys my egg bites okay just waiting for them to cool down so i can leave i don't have certain things to make my protein smoothies so i'm just gonna make it when i come back um and i'll get like an espresso shot or something when i get to the gym because i feel like i need some caffeine today is the day before i leave for new york so i'm like getting everything together um but yeah we're just gonna start off by working out and then i'll get to everything else that i need to get to so I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower but I am going to wash my hair today I just want my hair to be fresh for tomorrow when I leave um, I'm going to blow dry and straighten it myself which I haven't done that in so long so I'm kind of nervous but it's okay I have enough time to do everything the only thing is I need to like clean off my straightener I use it on my hair when I was I think I sprayed Eben on like the front and then I went in and straightened it after and I like completely messed up the straightener and I was even gonna buy a new one today but I was like let me just see if I can clean it so somebody on TikTok said to <clears throat> let it get a little bit warm they said to use Dawn <clears throat> baking soda and alcohol I don't think I have alcohol though I make a mixture out of it and put it on the straightener let me see if I have alcohol I can't find alcohol so I'm just I'm just gonna use baking soda and Dawn dish soap and mix that together and see if that works this is kind of thick um water but we're still gonna do it i really really hope this works because i don't even have i i don't want to go to the Saudis. i don't have a close one near me and those are the only places that have the straightener and then she said to leave it on for a couple minutes and then wipe it off with like a a towel or something Hopefully this works. Okay, it's actually wiping it off. I feel like I might need a couple rounds though. Like my shit is like, it's kind of working. Let's do this side. You know what? I'm gonna try to use the pink stuff and see if that will work actually. Oh my God, this is actually working. Okay, that is so easy. That was so easy. I like perfectly clean now. I'm gonna start off by using this Scalp Revival from Biogeo. It's just like an oil, pre-wash oil. I'm gonna put this in my scalp. My hair needs to get washed so bad. Like I've been working out and I just have been. I'm on Bitches love me, my bitches love me, my bitches love me. Yeah, yeah. I can give a fuck by no hate as long as my bitches love me. Yeah, yeah. I can give a fuck by no nigga as long as these bitches love me. Pussy ass niggas stop hating. 
They told you it got that fire And these hoes love me like Satan, man Yeah Fuck with me and get by it And all she eat is dick She's on a strict diet, that's my baby With no makeup, she a 10 And she the best with that hit In those cases, what you actually need to do here is they're gonna get further hurt and they're not gonna like. Okay, you guys, I'm done straightening my hair for the most part. I need to trim so badly. Tomorrow, with Olaplex, they're actually bringing us to like a hair salon to get our hair done. So I'm going to see if they can trim my hair like... I need to trim so bad. The thing is like I literally... Like the last time... Every time I go to get a silk press, I ask them to trim my hair. And like... I don't know. I don't know if it's like he's not trimming my hair properly or... I just do whatever the hell to my hair. So like it just becomes badly quickly. I just... I don't, I don't know who... Okay, you guys, I'm leaving out. It's like 5 a.m. currently. We are headed to New York. I'm like kind of nervous. I don't know why. But um, yeah, let's go to the airport. I'm about to call my Uber and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. fashion week i don't know if i mentioned that so it's like so busy there's just a lot going on in the city but um yeah i just got back from the lunch that we went on. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick room tour. The room is not that big, so this is gonna <laughs> be like a two second room tour. This is when you get in, okay. There's like the bathroom at the front. You guys don't need to see that. And then, cute. And then um, another mirror. It's like the front, so there's the bathroom and the shower at the front. And then this is the second part of the room, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you guys. Oh my freaking god. Guess who I saw outside the freaking hotel? I saw Liv and Kaylor. Oh my god, I should have pulled my camera out to vlog, but I was late. Like, I was late to come here and they're waiting for me to go to the restaurant. All I heard was Liv's voice. It, you know, Liv has such a particular voice. I'm talking about Love Island US, if you guys don't know who I'm talking about. But Liv has such a particular voice. So I'm like, who? I'm like, what? Like, it sounded like the TV show was just running. I was like, and then I see Liv and freaking Kayla right there, right in front of the hotel. I was like, Sh and then I'm just looking at her. And she's like, oh, you look so pretty. I'm like, stop. I just, I just finished watching the show. You guys look so good. They're like, oh, thank you. I'm like, that was so crazy. I wish I would have pulled my camera out, but I was just like so in a rush and like trying to get in and stuff. <laughs> that was so crazy. I can't believe I just saw those two just in front of the freaking hotel. But anyways, but yeah, we went and had a little like lunch vibe. You guys saw that. Basically what's going to happen is like we have an, they booked us an appointment at a hair salon. They said that the appointment includes washing and 
styling. They, if they could trim my hair, that would be amazing. Because my hair is already freshly washed. So they can maybe trim it and then style it. And then this evening, there's like an event. There's an old plex event where there's going to be a lot of people. And then we're going to do dinner all together. And tomorrow, I'm like staying an extra day. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the vibes. Um, I do want to like maybe go shopping and stuff like that. I want to specifically go to the Goyard store because we don't have one of those in Toronto and I want to get a specific, I want to get the tote. So I have some like time now, like should I go? Where, how, how far is it? We're pretty centrally located. We actually walked to the restaurant and we walked back, which is nice. OOTD. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, we're just in New York. Just, you know, know, just walking down. Just walking. Making our way downtown. Bye. <laughs> Headed to the event. This is what we're wearing. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. So yeah, we're excited to see what that's going to be like. And then we have dinner at like 9. Dinner's at 9. Or at like 8 something. I'm starving. It, I'm getting hungry. I'm so, I'm so hungry. <laughs> You guys, we're just tired of walking. We're walking to dinner right now, and it said like 11 minutes, but it feels like the time just is it never like ending. An hour. It feels like we've been walking for half an hour, yeah. you guys. And we're in the streets of New York. It's nighttime. We're low-key scared for our safety, like. <laughs> Not safety. Like we're scared out here. She put her watch away like it's not a joke. <laughs> we did the Olaplex event. It was really nice seeing like it was nice New York all, influencers. Yeah. No, it really was. Or just like other influencers that I feel like obviously we wouldn't see in Toronto. So that was a cute little vibe. It was cute. And they're all pretty. I know. Everyone is everyone is so gorgeous. Everyone is pretty. on 10. Okay. Oh my, oh my god. Gosh. We tried to get an Uber, but the Ubers are like I think it's because it's fashion week. So is it this way? The yeah. The Ubers are like taking forever. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> this is crazy work. <laughs> my knees <laughs> hurt. I need to pee too. Oh my god. This is not a joke. No, it's the way your shoes are clacking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> guys, my shoes are like low key broken. Like one of them, the oh sole is like off. You guys, I. I said that I was gonna stay in New York for 48 hours, but I feel like going home. I don't know why. You're gonna go home? Yeah. I'm gonna Just look stay. at tickets today. Just stay, girl. You could do it. She has her man, so she's Gucci. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Hey guys, good morning. So yesterday when I came back from dinner, I was just thinking about the trip and I'm like, honestly, I wanna go home. Like I extended my 
trip because the Olaplex thing is really just a one day thing. But I was like, you know, let me just stay for an extra day and like meet up with some people. But yesterday I was just, but yesterday I was in my bed and I was just like, like honestly, I just feel like going home. I have like some videos to edit and stuff. And I just want to go home and like get to work. I don't want to be here anymore. And plus it's New York Fashion Week and I'm like not in New York Fashion Week like headspace. Because I came here for the Olaplex event not, like I didn't even know it was going to be New York Fashion Week until like recently. So there's just like so much going on. Like if I knew that I was coming here for New York Fashion Week, like maybe I would have planned better, you know, things like that. But anyways. Um... Yeah, I changed my flight last night, so I'm actually headed to the airport soon. I'm just going to get some breakfast, and then I'm headed home, and I'm actually so excited to go home. Like, I had a great time with Olaplex, and I'm so blessed and happy that they, like, flew me out here. I actually wanted to go to the Goyard store, but I don't know if I'm going to have time, which kind of really sucks. It's looking like I'm going to have to do that the next time I come back or any time I go somewhere else where but I'm definitely not gonna have time to do that today. That has been my New York trip. I had a great time here. I'm so happy Aiko was here because I feel like she really made the trip super fun for me. I might change into sweats. I put jeans on because I thought I was going to the Guillard store, but I might change into sweats since I'm headed straight to the airport. And yeah.